What's up the John Squad? This is John Pilling here, your YouTube World House Champion here on YouTube. And today I'm coming to my WWE Monday Night Raw review for September 2nd, 2019. So let's do this. Shout out to John Squad. So we kicked off the Monday Night Raw last night with a contract signing for the WWE Universal Championship. And Brad Strowman comes out first, then Seth Rollins comes out, and so, so then Michael Cole asks some questions, and tell, and, and tell Seth Rollins about the, and talks to them about them defending the Raw Tag Team Championships in the same night, and, de and defending the Universal Championship, Seth says that he has the ability to work with Braun, and work and as double champ, and walking out, and as double champ and then burning it down. Braun says that and that he that that they will beat Rude and Ziggler but at, but but he will beat Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Seth, Seth says that he is going to slay Monster at Class of Champions. So then, all of a sudden is that AJ Styles and the OC come on out. Gals and Anderson and AJ Styles, um... It says that history will be made and stuff like that. And it says that he deserves a shot for the Universal Championship. And and, and that he doesn't know who will he be defending his title against. And AJ, AJ said that he should be, you know. And AJ then comes into the ring, rips up the contract. And then next, you know, the OC and Seth and Braun Strowman brawl. So then... The first match you had in a row was Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman versus the OC, Luke Allen and Carl Anderson. And the winner was Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. Uh, Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. And then, after the match, AJ Styles uh, uh, attacks Seth Rollins. And then, Seth Rollins throws AJ Styles out of the ring and 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 then does a suicide dive onto AJ Styles. Then Braun Strowman runs over his tag team partner Seth Rollins by accident. So then there was then there was a five five on one beat down between when Dolph Ziggler and Bob, Robert Roode come out to. Uh, and help out the OC and and attack Braun Strowman and then they um they hit him with with the steel steps then they get back inside the ring and then they and then they attack Seth Rollins the five on one and then they deliver another five on one and then they beat up on Braun Strowman again in the ring and they deliver a magic killer then AJ Styles delivers a phenomenal forearm onto. And Braun Strowman, that's what happens to end the segments. And the second match you had in Raw was Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins versus Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. And the winner was Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, and that was glorious. So the third match you had in Raw was Lacey Evans versus Natalia, and the winner was Lacey Evans. So then, we had Aaron Crumb on Raw with Beck Lynch, and she talks about the... She 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 talks about Sasha Banks and how she's looking for her and how and how and how she wants to know what happened to her and then and the, and she talks about her and Charlotte were parade and after WrestleMania when she left and 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 Bailey has been doing just fine and she calls out Sasha Banks then Sasha Banks comes out and talks to Becky and that she was supposed to be her the, be her and the reason why she got all this stuff why Becky Lynch got all this stuff was because Nia Jax broke her face and that's why she says that Nia Jax should have broke her face so then uh, so then she challenges Becky Lynch to a match at Class of Champions for the Raw Women's Championship. So then, next thing you notice that uh, Becky Lynch is, accepts the challenge uh, for the match at Class of Champions, and that match is made official. So then, the next match you have on Raw was 
Um, a King of the Ring tournament quarterfinal match. It was Baron Corbin versus Cedric Alexander, and Baron Corbin advances on in the King of the Ring tournament. So then, the, the fifth match in a row was the Viking Raiders versus Brian and Tyler, and the winner was the Viking Raiders, and that was just like a squash match. So then, and, and by the way, I didn't meet Brian at um, an independent show, by the way. That's a true fact, you know, so that's why I just want to put that out there. So then, just to let you all know, he went by Brian Armstrong. I didn't meet him, but now he went by Brian Thomas, so I didn't meet him, so that's why. So, anyway, on to the next one. So then, another match on row was a King of the Ring tournament quarterfinals match row with Simone Joe versus Ricochet and apparently both shoulders were pinned onto the match so the referee John Cone goes out there and get, puts on the headsets and declares that there was no one in the match but next Monday it is going to be a triple threat match you know it is going to be Samoa Joe Versus Ricochet versus Baron Corbin in a semifinals match to determine who's going to go to the finals of the King of the Ring tournament. So, another match in Hound Row was The Miz versus Cesaro, and the winner was The Miz. That is right. So, the main event we had on Raw was Bailey and Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, and during the match, Sasha Banks comes out and and, and just well, watches the match. So then, the winner was Bailey and Becky Lynch due to Sasha Banks delivering a big statement on, uh, you know, one, one of her finishers on to Becky Lynch. So then, what happens next is that Sasha Banks gets a steel chair and just whams, whacks, whacks Becky Lynch in, 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 in the back with the steel chair. So then, Bailey comes into the ring and makes a saving, takes a steel chair away from Sasha Banks. So then, what happens next is that all of a sudden is that Bailey has a steel chair in her hand and then looks down at Becky Lynch and then Bailey turns heel. She grabs the steel chair and whacks the steel chair onto Becky Lynch multiple times, and that's what happens to a WWE Money at Raw with Bailey whacking Becky Lynch. With the steel chair multiple times in the back, and Bailey is now heel. It looks like so. That's what happens to when WWE Monday Night Raw last night with Bailey and Sasha Banks, with Bailey just whacking Becky Lynch with the steel chair a lot of times in the back. So once again, the John Scott. Please like this video, leave your comments down below, and subscribe for more. What you thought about this episode of WWE Monday Night Raw? And subscribe for more. You're all the best, John Squad. You're a one of a kind. I love each and every single one of you. I say it every day to you guys because I love you guys. So once again, please like this video, leave your comments down below, and subscribe for more. And oh, and we did have a Rey Mysterio backstage interview, and he he did talk about um how uh, how I don't know what he talked about. I kind of forgot. But anyway, um, thank you for joining me here on my um Daily Monday Raw review. I hope you all enjoyed it and have a pleasant day of your day, the John Squad. And enjoy the rest of your day today. That's all I can say. And peace out, the John Squad. Enjoy your day today. Wow, I can't believe Bailey turned heel last night, man. On the crowd, I was just going like, yes, yes, yes. Can't believe it. Wow. What a shocker. Peace.